Uhuru rejects newly formed Congolese alliance restate support for ceasefire. Welcome back to Bari News Kenya. This is where we give you the latest updates in Kenya and around the world. Former President Uhuru Kenyatta has denounced the Congo River Alliance declaration that is being pushed by the Congolese opposition figure Colonel Nanga. Mr. Kenyatta, the facilitator of the East African community led Nairobi peace process, has said he supports the U.S. brokered ceasefire, stating that he continues to seek its indefinite extension to facilitate the peace building process to put an end to the senseless killing and suffering of the people of the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Last week, Mr. Nanga announced the creation of a political military alliance with M23 rebels and other armed groups to save the country. The retired president said he watched with shock and dismay at the developments as individuals claiming to be pursuing the interest of a greater peace and stability in the DRC initiated yet another political and military alliance to challenge the legitimate political status quo in the troubled country. Kenya has also distanced itself from the alliance and has promised to investigate the matter after DRC recalled its ambassador in protest. Prime Cabinet Secretary, who is also the Foreign Affairs C.S. Musalem Davandi, on Sunday said the government had nothing to do with the statement issued by Mr. Nanga. The Prime C.S. said the government was investigating the whole matter with the aim of determining determining the identities of the makers of the statement. Soon after the formation of the alliance, DRC recalled its ambassador to Kenya, Mr. John Kalunga, also recalled his envoy to Tanzania as Dar es Salaam host the headquarters of the East African community, which Congo is also a member. On Monday, Mr. Kenyatta said he hopes that the U.S.-backed ceasefire will also set a stage for a resumption of the Nairobi peace process so that the troubled region could have a lasting peace. Mr. Nanga, who was president of the Independent National Electoral Commission in the RC Electoral Commission in the 2018 polls but now lives in exile, called for the union of all political, social and military forces to rebuild the state and restore peace in the improvised conflict-torn nation. The former head of the country, Electoral Commission, made the announcement in Nairobi ahead of the December 20th elections, a move that is likely to cause more tension for the country that has for years been hit by insecurity, fueled by ethnic rivalry. Mr. Nanga said he was coalescing with other political movements, civil society, and armed groups like M23. The DRC adds to the polls tomorrow, which is going to be on Wednesday, and the U.S., has brokered a 14-day ceasefire in the eastern parts to help civilians participate in the polls. Ojuang Odero, Bahari News, Kenya.